The Holy Tales. Mm, okay, found it. The name of the story is Eyes to See. That sounds really interesting. Go on with the story, Holy. When the army of Aram was at war with the Israelites, the king of Aram made plans of places to attack the Israelites. But God always sent a message to the king of Israel through Elisha, warning him not to go to those places. This made the king of Aram very angry, and he thought that one of his officers might be giving out information to the Israelites. He ordered his officers to come forward and confess, which they all denied. It's Elisha, the prophet. They said, he knows everything that you say, even the things you say privately. So, the king of Aram sent his soldiers to find Elisha. During this time, Elisha was in Dothan. The king of Aram sent his army with many chariots to surround the city of Dothan and capture Elisha. Next morning, Elisha's servant saw the troops with the chariots and was terrified. He quickly ran to Elisha and informed him. What do we do now? He cried. Elisha was not at all disturbed by the situation. Don't worry. He said very calmly. We have a lot more soldiers on our side than on theirs. The servant was confused, as he did not understand what Elisha was talking about. Elisha prayed to God to open his servant's eyes. God answered his prayers. Then when Elisha's servant looked around, he saw thousands of soldiers with horses and chariots of fire. God's own army! Aram's army started advancing forward to capture Elisha. Elisha again prayed to God. Oh Lord, please make the soldiers of Aram blind. God answered Elisha's prayers once again. When the soldiers were blinded, Elisha went up to the soldiers and said, The man you are looking for is over that way. Follow me, and I'll take you to him. The soldiers followed Elisha, who led them to Samaria. Elisha prayed to God once again to restore the soldiers' eyesight. Once Aram's soldiers got their eyesight back, they realized they were in Samaria, in front of the king of Israel. The king of Israel asked Elisha if they should kill them. No. Elisha answered, We do not kill prisoners of the war. Give them food to eat and water to drink and send them back on their way. The king of Israel followed Elisha's guidance and arranged a massive feast for Aram soldiers and sent them back to their land. That was really a wonderful story, wasn't it? Oh, yes. What? Holy Tales And I'm back to tell you a new story from the Bible. It is about the new queen that was chosen for the kingdom of Persia. Wow! That sounds awesome! Alright then, let's start with the story. I'm sure you're going to love it. The king of Persia threw a big party, which lasted for six months. He invited all the important people of his kingdom. When his party ended, he held another special banquet for the officials and the servants of the palace, which too lasted for seven days. The banquet was held in the courtyard, which was beautifully decorated with white and blue banners with purple ribbons. There were gold and silver couches on the marble floor 
and drinks were served in gold cups. The servants and the officials could have them as much as they wanted. At the same time as the king's banquet, the queen of Persia threw a banquet for the women of the palace. On the seventh day of the king's banquet, the king commanded that Queen Vashti be brought to his banquet. He wanted her to wear her royal crown and let the men see her great beauty. But Queen Vashti refused to come. This angered the king. His advisors advised him that if the queen was led away for her refusal, then all the other women in the kingdom would think they could disobey their husbands too. They suggested that Queen Vashti be forever banished from the king's presence. The king liked the idea, so he banished Vashti and let the whole kingdom know about it. Soon after this, the king realized what he had done and that he needed a new queen. So he sent his men to find the most beautiful girl in their region and bring them to the palace so that he could choose his new queen. In the city lived a Jewish man called Mordecai. His young cousin Esther lived with him too. When her parents died, he adopted her and raised her as his own daughter. Esther was extremely beautiful and so the king's men chose her as one of the girls to be the queen. The man in charge of all the women was very impressed with Esther and so she was brought to the palace and given special treatment. She was also given servants for herself. However, Esther told no one in the palace that she was a Jew, as Mordecai advised her not to. After a year, when she was brought before the king, he was left amazed by her beauty. He immediately put the crown on her head and declared her queen and Mordecai became an official in the king's court. I want to be as pretty as the new queen someday. You are very pretty, Freckles. You look like a princess. I do? Yes, Freckles. You are very pretty. The Holy Tales Today's story is about shepherds visiting baby Jesus after his birth. Well, that sounds interesting. The night Mary gave birth to Jesus, some shepherds in a field outside Bethlehem had an interesting experience. Later in the night, when the night was dark and quiet, the shepherds were watching over their sleeping sheep and protecting them from harmful animals. Suddenly, they saw the sky light up with the presence of God's angel. The glory of God filled up the whole sky that it was as light as daytime. The shepherds were amazed when the angel of God spoke to them. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful news for you. The angel said, God's son is born tonight in a little village of Bethlehem. He is your savior, Christ the Lord. You will find him wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in an animal's feed box. The shepherds were even more amazed when a whole choir of angels filled the sky, singing the Lord's praises. When the angels left, the shepherds were filled with excitement. They hurried to Bethlehem looking for the baby the angels were talking about. They found a baby lying in a feed box, just as the angels had said, in a little village in Bethlehem. The shepherds were amazed and they told everyone about the baby and what the angels had said. Mary listened to everything they told about Jesus and kept all of that in her heart and mind. The shepherds then returned to their work in the fields and they praised God and sang of his glorious gift. That was indeed a wonderful story, Holy. Thank you. I am glad you all like the story. 
To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.